Hello again, YouTubers, I'm with Spongebob 101 back here again on the Spongebob channel. And today we start off our Spongebob comics collection videos, alright? So, um, basically these collection books are published by Abram Books and of course um, they contain comics from the original uh, releases of the individual issues of Spongebob comics. Alright, so the first one we have here we got in our previous video, our mail day video, um, Spongebob comics issue or book number one, not so much issue number one, Silly Sea Stories. Yay! Alright, so um, yeah, this video and of course the following video will both be Spongebob comics. In the next video we'll cover um, book number two, Anyways, let's take a look at the spine, alright? So, it says Hillenburg here, Silly Sea Stories, Amulet Books. Um, this artwork actually was featured part of the very first issue, but Spongebob was actually in the shape of a one, so... Different, but it's okay. On the back, it says, Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I'll just give you guys a better look by removing the camera from the stand. Take a peek inside the complicated mind of Patrick. Climb Plankton's family tree and find out what happens when a notorious food critic visits the Krusty Krab. With so many underwater gags, you can't help but laugh. You can't help but laugh. <laughs> Alright, and this usually costs $10.95 uh, $10 retail. Um, of course, you can get it off Amazon for ch much cheaper. I'll leave a link, uh, link in the description box below where you can go and pick up one of these copies for yourself if you're interested in it. But yeah, so, you got Sully C Stories. I think I'm actually going to use the stand for this video and um, yeah, just, just so I can show you guys what's um, to be highlighted in this book. Alright, so firstly, um, we start off, okay, it's, a, it's pretty hard to do this, though. Hmm. Okay, I think the stand will have to go. Okay, so, let's take a look inside. So, here in the folder flap, um, you can pause there and read that. Just some introduction. We have Spongebob Comics number one, Sully Sea Stories, of course the uh, publication info. Now this is, the stories included in this collection were originally published in issue 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 14, 21, 23, and 29. So yeah, I mean, it's a very funny, goofy little Spongebob there. Okay, so uh, we have stories like Day Off, alright, and uh, Again, all of these I have done uh, review videos for before, so we're, what we're really reviewing here is not actually the story, it's just like, you know, how all these stories match up together uh, to really be silly sea stories. Now, this day off thing, I can't really remember what happened because this is so long ago, but um... Yeah, I know I've read this before. And this is something like Bummer Vacation, you know, where Spongebob doesn't want to... Um, <laughs> go. Something like that. And so he just keeps trying to come back in, which is actually pretty darn silly. <laughs> uh, I mean, nobody in the right mind would want to, you know, work extra on their day off. I mean... Yeah, and at the end of the at the end of the day, SpongeBob literally literally caught, forces Mr. Krabs to destroy the restaurant so that he doesn't get fined because SpongeBob doesn't want to take a day off. Oh well, <laughs> no one tells Eugene Krabs how to run his business. What business? Okay, next up we have picture it. Next year, and the next year, and the next year. <laughs> yeah. Pictures. Okay, so basically he starts picturing things. Um, watch the pictures in my, in my head all night. So yeah, and guess what happens later. So, he watches so much of that. 
the <laughs> watches so many of those channels and I've been picturing all night. Okay, let's see what happens. Obviously. Shake there, I gotta speed, I gotta slide, there I gotta do this. So Mrs. Pop, did I pass? An elixir, an elixir, an elixir. Floats him and jets him, yeah, so um they actually have floats him and jets some ocean facts in here as well. This one is the very first one that they came up with, the aquatic sponge. So I mean of course this will be in higher <coughs> higher definition than the video that you would watch. Um <coughs> excuse me, issue number one or issue number two. Because at that point in time my camera was really really bad. So I'm thinking of redoing those comics. Um, may or may not do that, but yeah, this kind of helps, you know, cover what was really blurry in the past. All right, so um, it's still really hard to do this. I have no idea a better way to do this without purchasing more resources. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna shake it. But but this story is basically how Squidward gets. Um, Basically, Grandma has this rule that you can't be, you can't visit her if you're not invited. And Squirt falls, uh, Squirt starts appreciating Grandma so much that he wants to go visit Grandma again. But SpongeBob's not coming along. I mean, you know, they kind of made a deal to for SpongeBob to leave Squirt alone. So yeah, basically, he tries all these random things, but. <laughs> oh man. Right, yeah, but it does. It kind of works on the end. I don't know. Does this count as working out? Pet Star, no pants. Hmm. Okay, so he's in a shirt. Let me guess. He's not gonna go out with pants, right? I mean, that's literally in the title right here. Yeah. <laughs> And guess what? He turns out to be to be taken as a balloon. Now, um, it's also kind of silly because you know, uh, I don't think Patrick is light enough to float as a balloon. Of course, this is underwater, so maybe they can float. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't feel right that Patrick is actually <laughs> like a balloon. I mean, of course, you know, remember in the SpongeBob movie, he was gliding on a, a parachute or something like that. So, or glider for that matter. So that was that made much more sense. This, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, next up, Krusty Nab. Hmm. So the Krusty Krab is missing. So they go on a quest to find it. King Neptune's castle. So it turns out that King Neptune took the. Ca Krusty Krab to be a dollhouse for his nephew. <laughs> Look at this. Now return to your village and tell everyone of this honor farewell. So basically their challenge is to make the niece laugh as much as possible so that um, King Neptune will return to Krusty Krab. And, plan and as, as a bonus, the Krusty Krab smashes down on planet. Split decision. So he splits himself apart. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Ping tough finger stinger. Oh yeah, this is a great one. But I'll get to it in a moment. All right. Um, waiting. <laughs> Enjoy waiting. I mean, in that season five episode, waiting. You didn't really like to wait, even though it was only seven minutes. Baby. <laughs> That's a pretty big baby, though. Ping Tuft Finger Stinger. Alright, so then we go on to this. Tadpoles, guppies, assault, assorted small fry. Join the Krusty Krab Club for kids, and you can sell Krabby Patties door to door. <laughs> yeah, join me club. Alright. Random rewards. Monkey see, monkey do. Right, so. 
all the end of my birthday. And then so it's like this kind of flashback thing. The fishbowl. One of a kind spectacular aqua chip. The ad in the comic book promised hours of fun and learning. Lone Star Spring Water. Warning, do not use Lone Star Spring Water to activate Aqua Chip. <laughs> Gallop and Guppies. H2O Rangutans. So basically, it just gets bigger. And completely just destroys Sandy's tree dome. Oh, look at Patrick's pajamas. It says P.S. Patrick Star. I'm telling a story here. Yeah. Um, I apologize that this video is really long. I'm just showing you guys everything. Um, if you really don't want to see everything, then you can just comment in the box below. But um, yeah, I think most people that watch these videos actually want to see everything because they're it's not convenient for everyone to you know get SpongeBob comics. So I understand that. So you guys have an avenue to actually check these out if you are are if you aren't able to get it. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, he did all of that, he did all of that just for the penny which he just punked into the jar there. <laughs> More floats in a Jetsam Ocean facts, crabs, yay! Again, pause wherever you want and read it. Um, Sponge Funnies by Kochalka, this one is Charades. Great moments in SpongeBob history. <laughs> Plankton's plan. All right. For the love of chum. Okay, this one I'm gonna zoom out and try this. Then we're already at page 66. I have no idea how many pages this is. This is probably about 100 plus, 110. So I'm just gonna try to go a little bit faster. Another customer? <laughs> Not at all. Turns out it was fun after all! Yay! Just a lot. It also has those like Plankton's regular vibes, you know, that episode from season 6. It's kind of like that again. I mean, that, that's what happened in a lot of the. Well, not necessarily a lot, but a, quite a few um, older comics. And they did innovate a little bit more after that so that's really great a peek inside the mine of patrick pork chops <laughs> let's take a look inside shall we i'm kind of interested to see this <laughs> how a hammer's yellow shoe spongebob no Pork chops, and just this pork chops. I didn't get it, but okay. What does it look like I'm doing? Wee! Pork chops. <laughs> He's just hungry. Okay, anyways, all wrapped up. Some big picture of squid we're at here. <laughs> This is my drum signed Spongebob Skirger Pants. So he took it, made it a present, and gave it back to Spongebob. And so now they're making a whole lot of noise. I just knew they were going, you were going to ruin my day. 
Okay, more Sponge Funnies, right? Very Cherry, and what's this? Game Freaks. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. The Tooth, not Truth. The Tooth shall set you free. Let's see what happens here. So he's got that decaying tooth there. Oh, that looks gross. I mean, there are ghosts coming out of it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but, okay. I mean, it's supposed to represent, like, you know, decay, I guess. But, yeah. Oh, ew. He took the doorknob. Uh, oh, well. That, that's weird. I like the plot of um, the whole tooth, you know, the final episode of Season 9 better. We got Flossum and Jess some Sea Stars. Yep, this is probably in issue 4 or issue 3, something like that. The Critic. S yeah, Sacre Bluefish. <laughs> I, but I really like this art style though. I really like this art style. I mean, look at how cool this is. That's him. Sublime. <laughs> Yeah, the, the key word in this comic was sublime, so... Yeah, a whole bunch of food there. That wasn't him. Coming right up. Oh, it's really him this time. Uh-oh, he used all his ingredients. Think, think, think. Oopsie. So he just tries to make something, hurry Spongebob. Awful food and no money. Eats, eats. The best. This is the best I ever had. You know, he said big changes are coming. Say hi to our new grill buddy, yellow. <laughs> Well, no! Okay, and then of course we have uh, Sponge Funnies here. Headphone Funny and Relaxing Book and Plankton Par. First, they gotta make some low par out. <laughs> the last item here Float some Jet Some Ocean Facts on Cephalopods. Um, on the back here, we have a bio for Stefan Helmberg. And of course, in the next video, we'll be doing Aquatic Adventures Unite, uh, book number two. So overall, I think the Silly Sea Stories um, collection is a really interesting one. It, it doesn't give you everything. It's not meant to give you everything that you actually find in regular issues of Spongebob comics. But nonetheless... It gives you a good taste of what you get in Spider-Man Comics. Now the price point here um, is $10.95. So okay, um, originally the issues that are actually being uh, in, that are featured here, I believe, until issue 29 were all $2.99 a piece. So we more or less had about nine to ten. How many were there though? I think there were. I mean, if you if you count all of that, if you count the number of issues itself, of course, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 issues, that means there are 14 items, at least 40, 14 items in this book. I'm sorry, I didn't get to count all of them, but <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But, okay, if you think about it that way, each SpongeBob Comics um, issue has about 5 to 7 Five to seven, maximum eight. Honestly, maximum eight. Um, I don't think I ever. I don't think there are with nine. Any with nine? I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, so basically, you are you may be getting a good deal by getting great comics, but you, the volume wise, not so much. But of course, again, it's probably more costly to print to print a binded book than it is to print a regular issue of the comics. So. Yeah, it's a really give and take thing, but if you're really a, a diehard SpongeBob fan, get both this and the regular issues because, again, this does not include everything that comes out in the issues, right? Um, yeah, so if you want everything, 
the issues themselves are your best bet but of course if you just want to buy this as well i mean if you even if you're like me who ha already has all the comics uh all, all the issues thus far i mean go ahead again link is in the description box below all right so what do you guys think on spongebob comics issue uh, book number one silly sea stories comment box below subscribe if you haven't liked favorite comic etc thank you guys for watching keep right here on automatic spongebob 101 i'll see you guys next video bye